Tui Zero XVX welcome. Right, if any of you guys are not quite sure about this uh, Whisper Beacon kit that I've been using, if you go to this website, QRP Labs, and you'll be confronted, if you type in uh, qrp-labs.com, which is up there, qrp-labs.com, QRP you'll be confronted by his website. What you want to be going is down to here, the kits. So if you click on the Ultimate 3 QRP Labs kit, which I'll just do that, I'm trying to hold it at the same time. All right, you get confronted by this. And it tells you all about the, the kit and what you can do with it, whatever. Um, but yeah, it's a good little kit. It really is go, uh, good. If you go up to the shop, click shop up the top there. You can see you can buy uh, all the kits that he does and that is the case for the ultimate three that one there and you got the main kit here up that side so if you click on that what you get an option is uh, what band what low pass filter you want so obviously I was running 30 meters so you get the choose the 30 meter kit and you can have the G, what you want is also as well to make sure it's mega accurate. I'm looking for it on here while I'm talking to you is you want the GPS receiver, top one, sorry, I couldn't see it. Uh, GPS receiver is $23, but um, to keep it mega accurate, so the clock is super, super accurate, you want to have the GPS clock. So believe me, you do want it. Uh, and then you can have some extra transit. Uh, that is a good little buy for the kit. Um, you get a load of BS170 uh, transistors. I would suggest you put all three in, run it at five volts, and it takes the strain off the one transistor, off the one PA transistor. Really been there, done it. I've butchered loads of them. I now put the BS, all three BS uh, transistors in, worth buying only a couple of quid for a pack of 10. So uh, it's well worth having. So they're the only options. Choose what band you want, um, GPS, and you want them as well. Uh, you can put the relay board kit in it, uh, but I wouldn't bother for now. Just get the box standard one going. Uh, go to add car, and away you go. And then I'll show you what it looks like when I've built it. This is my homebrew beacon, and this is the front panel. You've got a few buttons on the front here. Uh, that goes through your menus, and that does the select. It'll scroll through the longitude and latitude and the height and that is the time clock there. Little heartbeat is showing that it is getting its time sync from my external GPS sensor just over there. That goes into the back. Basically around the back it's very simple. You've got power RF and that is for my um, uh, GPS sensor. So that's the front panel. I'll go over to the antenna now. Right, moving on over to the antenna. You've got 9 to 1 on and here. That's the RF coming in. Antenna going out and the ground planes. The ground planes are in two earth rods. One there and one around the back. And the pole, the 10 metre fiberglass pole is sat in this plastic tube which I have put some now I've cut some um, washers that go into your drainage, sink drainage. That just keeps that nice and steady in there. It's just absolutely perfect size, those washers. But I've got a 10 metre fiberglass pole. As you can see, that goes up and up and up and up and up, right up there. So it's 10 metres of fiberglass pole. And wrap right around it is 20 metres of wire. So... What I've done is the first five meters is fairly tightly wound. And then I've been messing around with this. And then as you come down, as you can see how loosely wound I've been winding these coils down the bottom here. And it has made it a bit more um, into G. So I'm gonna have a play around with the uh, windings on it and uh, see what the difference is. But 10 meter pole, with 20 meters of wire wrapped around it. So, and that's chucking out 200 milliwatts into the beacon. The beacon is, uh, that will transmit out 200 milliwatts, uh, my call sign. And that is it.
So that is the uh, QRP Labs uh, Whisper Beacon. Okie dokie, we moved over to the uh, coal face of the uh, beacon. As you can see, uh, I'm in the middle here. And uh, the beacon on 30 meters has been going out this way. It tends to go this way in the morning. And then as uh, it gets dark, it starts moving over. I've zoomed in a bit. Uh, and it goes over to the USA. Um, my battery gone flat on it so it hadn't been pinging out for a little while uh, but the last couple of days it's been going right the way down to South uh, Africa and also to India uh, but I forgot the battery had uh, gone down on it and I'm also getting a few into G, into G stations as well uh, because I, I like I said on the uh, other part of the video I've changed the winding coils and because it seems to be top loaded I've noticing a lot more into G so obviously the signals going up and down like that instead of it going like that so maybe I ought to uh, move the coils around a bit and see if I can get a bit further afield but I'll have another look once the um, uh, it's been on uh, because I forgot that it, the battery had gone flat on it. I don't know what time it went flat, but the battery had gone flat. Um, I'm only running it off an old scooter battery, and it seems to take its toll a bit with that one, because it's got a screen going and everything else, it really does drain the battery. But even so, it's uh, it's doing quite well. You know, it's going over into Ukraine, and right the way down here, look down onto the Mediterranean, Greece, and down to Tenerife, that area. For the last couple of days it's been doing well it's been going down into africa right down into south africa and also to india uh, but this let's move it back in that's what it's been like over the last couple of hours so i'll get it back up and running anyway and then see what it's like 